नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू मैथ सर्कल्स आई एम राधिका एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अ थ्योरम रिलेटेड टू द सब्सिक्वेंस सिंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द डेफिनेशन एंड आई होप यू ऑल कैज रिमेंबर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सब्सिक्वेंस सो लेट्स सी द स्टेटमेंट सो द स्टेटमेंट सेज एंड दिस इज अ वेरी फेमस नेम वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस आई गेस टू और थ्री डेफिनेशन रिलेटेड टू द बोलजानो वास्ट्रस एंड लेट सी वॉट द स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू प्रूव राइट नाउ so the c statement of the theorem is that every bounded sequence has a convergent subsequence that means agar koi sequence hai jo kaisi hai bounded hai to it would definitely has a convergent sequence right so let's see uh, so first i considered what that x is equal to xn be a bounded sequence that there is a sequence xn which is a bounded sequence now there are two cases arise the first is when the range set is finite and the second when the range set is not finite that is infinite okay so what range set is finite means what range set is finite means this there, there is at least one element at least one element which is repeating in the sequence how many times infinite times right that means in this sequence xn in this sequence xn let's consider there's a one element that let's consider the one element is a and this element is repeating For about how many times infinite times? Then only you can consider this element is in in the range set. So now I need to see that either this sequence has a convergent subsequence or not. So what if since this element is repeating how many times? Infinite times. So I am making a sequence by taking this element only, and it is a comma a comma a and up to so on. I have taken the repeated element and I made an entire sequence, which is a subsequence of x n. As as I can see, this is this is definitely convergent and it converges to a, right? Because as n tends to infinity, the your your answer is going to be the a only. So we have found a subsequence, which is what convergent and the sequence is what bounded. Right, so we have done the first part that when the range set is finite, then definitely it would have a convergent subsequence. Now, when the range set is infinite, I will leave this part on you guys. Just try, and even if you have any trouble by solving it, just write it in the comment box. I'll help you out. Or even if you're not able to do it, just tell me. I'll make an, um, I'll make the solution and send it to you. or uh, i'll make a video of it so let's move on to our next topic i hope this theorem is clear to you all so definition that we are going to discuss is the cauchy sequence or you can say the fundamental sequence and it is a very important definition aap sequence ka topic jab bhi padhoge aapko cauchy sequence kafi baar sunne mein aayega so just um, understand properly the cauchy sequence so let's see ke hamari cauchy sequence kaisi hoti hai so let consider that sn be any sequence and how would you call this sequence as cauchy sequence when if every if for every epsilon greater than 0 as i told you aapko epsilon se darne ki koi zarurat nahi hai this is just any value which is greater than 0 ओके एनी वैल्यू एप्साइलम कैन बी जीरो 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 पॉइंट वन लाइक एनी वैल्यू विच इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो फॉर सो फॉर एवरी एप्साइलम ग्रेटर देन जीरो यू विल फाइंड एन नॉट देयर एग्जिस्ट एन एन नॉट दैट बिलोंग्स टू कैपिटल एन दैट मीन्स एन नॉट कैन बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एनी नेचुरल नंबर सच दैट मॉड ऑफ एक्स एम माइनस एक्स एन माइनस इज लेस एन एप्साइलम दैट मीन्स Suppose we have a sequence, and we sequence is x one, x two, x three, x four, and it is going till up to x n. So what what this part is saying is, you just need to pick any two elements from the sequence. Suppose x m can be any point which is greater than n naught, and also uh, n should be greater than n naught. You need to define the n naught first. So let's take an n naught as suppose I am taking n naught as a ten. Okay, I have decided that n not is ten. So m is what greater than n not, and also n is greater than n not. So let's take the greater values from n not. That that means greater value from ten. So let's see. It is x twelve minus x eleven. I am x eleven. Sorry, yes. 
so when you will find the difference between them you will get the value which is less than epsilon it means the smallest value that you have taken from which is greater than zero you will find even smaller than epsilon okay so for every epsilon greater than zero there exists an n naught how that any two element from the sequence and if you are finding the difference between them you it will get get you if it, it will give you the value which is less than epsilon and that is for all m and n should be greater than or equal to n naught it can be 10 it can be 11 12 but not less than that so also i can conclude from this definition is since the difference is getting reduced right so this dif distance is what reduced from the value of epsilon so as you will take as you will go on this with the sequence you will say that the difference between the numbers is getting smaller and smaller and smaller like right? for example just try to imagine this with me what i can see from my end is if this is your zero okay this is your uh, suppose this is zero and this is your first element x1 this is your first element x2 this is your first element then your third element x3 and this is x4 and this is x5 and this is x6 so what i can see over here is that the difference between the elements is getting reduced so that means at some point you will get a values which will not go beyond something which will not go beyond any number that means it's gonna stop at some point and if the difference is what is going on reduce is going on less is going on so it will come to one number and what will it do in any one number it will try to tend to stop it and try to stop it and that's how you can say that Cauchy sequence would be convergent right I hope you can imagine that our difference is what is going on is getting reduced because it is getting less than epsilon so now as you can see the difference or numbers will increase so the difference will be less than epsilon and it will try to stop it will try to terminate at some point just like you tend to infinity and then that's how Cauchy sequence would be convergent we'll definitely take more theorems related to Cauchy sequence but it is very important to understand the definition and I hope uh, this definition is clear to you even if you have any doubt you can write it in the comment box I'll try I'll answer everyone and if you did understand today's video and then please Hit the like button, subscribe and share, with, share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. And for latest updates, click on the bell icon. Thank you.